Hello! Today we're going to have a quick look at how to set the default programs and default actions in Windows 10. The same process you can also use in Windows 8, 8.1 as well. Okay, we need to get to this window. How do we get to this window? Over here we type in default and open it up. And we get to the window. Now, we have our programs. All the programs and apps that are installed on this computer should be over here. And as an example, Windows Photo Viewer. Let's see what kind of file extensions it can open. All right, it can open JPEG, GIF. Let's have a GIF as well. OK, and then click Save. And now, what we would want to do is also, for example, set this program as default for all its program file extensions. Okay, so this will now open up that GIF. It will also open up JPEGs before it was being opened by the Photos program app. Okay, let's try and find a JPEG. We don't have too many. Okay. There we go. And if we click on that, straight away it goes to Windows Photo Viewer. So that's the way to set that. Okay, now let's have a look at how to associate file types with a certain program. For example, the JPEG. Let's give it a minute to find all its files. And if we have a weird file type that isn't being opened by the program, for example, you can go down and then basically find it. Okay, for example, over here we have JPEG. Okay, some programs have very, very weird file extensions and you can add it over there. Okay, so you click on there and then you can change the program to make it open by photos, for example. Okay, so JPEG should open by photos. Let's just try it. No, we had the wrong JPEG, JPG. Right, there we go. Change the program, have it open by photos. Find our JPEG again. Coming soon. There we go. And as you can see, it opens up by the photos program. Excellent. Okay. The other option is autoplay settings. Okay, when you put in a USB memory stick or you insert a CD or DVD, what do you want to happen? Okay, the safest one for us would be to basically turn off all autoplay. However, we could have other options like, for example, pictures, or if you enter a DVD movie, take no action, or open the folder, or ask me every time. Okay, what would I want? I would basically make sure there is no action happening in case there is a virus or anything on those extra disks or USB memory sticks. Okay, so that's that. And the last thing, set program access and computer defaults. Okay. Basically, over here, what we're going to do is choose a custom configuration. Okay. And for example, if you wanted to have, um, for example, a web page, if you want to open a web page, use my current browser, or you could choose the default to Internet Explorer. Okay. If you had an email program installed, for example, Mozilla's Thunderbird. Okay. Basically, every time you want to use the mail program, for example, you click the link in a web browser that opened up an email program, it'll basically choose the email program that you choose. Okay, also, if you, for example, insert a DVD, do you want it to open it up in Windows Media Player or any other program that you might have enabled, etc.? Okay, hope this has helped you. Thank you very much.